بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب زید نیلو رب شرح لی صدری و سیر لی امری وحل لکتتن ملسانی افقالی Hello guys, I hope you're all are doing well. Uh, we will be solving February, March 2023, Variant 12. Also, before I start the paper, I want to tell you all that all revenue generated will be donated to Palestine, inshallah. So please do make sure to like, subscribe and share my channel. So now, let's begin with our very first question. In the first question, it says that write the number 25 million in figures. So look. Um, always remember that 1 million has 6 zeros. I should not write it down like this. So it has how many zeros? 6. So now you will write this number like this 25 and write down 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Second question it says write 0 0.7 as a fraction. So the best way to do it if you do 7 divided by 10. 0 0.7 will be written as a fraction. In part B, the question says write 13 upon 20 as a percentage. So remember guys, whenever you are finding percentage, you always multiply it with 100. All right. So if you multiply 13 upon 20 with 100, you get 65%. Sorry. Now if we move on to the next question, which is question 3. It says from the list of numbers find all the numbers which are less than minus 5. So look, because it has minus sign, any number which has minus sign, the greater it is, the smaller the number is actually. So we have minus 6, minus 7 and minus 8. So we will write minus 6, minus 7 and minus 8. Next question is says the product of the largest and the smallest number. So if you look at the question, the largest number is 15 and the smallest number is negative 8. Product basically means when you multiply both numbers. So this will give you negative 120. If we move to the next question, it says that an exam starts at 1150 and lasts for two hours, two, and two whole one upon four hours work out the time that the exam finishes so look two hours we already know what two hours mean but what about one upon four one upon four basically means if we multiply it with 60 it will give us 15 minutes so two whole one upon four r actually means two hours and 15 minutes all right guys so we will add 1150 with 215. If you guys do know, not know how to add it, we do it like this. Look, 1150 plus 215. This becomes 5. This becomes 6. 11 plus 2 is 12 and 13. Okay. But in one minute, one hour, there are only 60 minutes. So we will give one hour to four, 13. It will become 14. And we will subtract 60 minutes from 65, so it will become 5 only. So, 2 for 2 or 5. Next question is, write 56.17345 correct to one decimal place. So, look, 56.17. So, you will, since 7 is greater than 5, 1 will become 2. So, this will become 56.2. Next question it says, work out the number of seconds in 5 hours. So look, 1 hour has 3600 seconds. Okay. And 5 hours, it would mean we will do 5 multiplied by 3600, which means 18,000 seconds. Let's move to the next question it says, from the list of numbers write down a cube number so look for if you look at this list we have 27 27 is a cube number what is a cube number when you multiply the same number thrice it's a cube number for example 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 that's 3 cube 3 cube is 27 second question is find a prime number look 29 is a prime number. So you will write 29. 
next question we have find v minus y so minus 1 upon 3 that's v we subtract it from y which is 2 upon 5 so this will actually become minus 1 minus 2 3 minus 5 so this becomes minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 3 minus 5 is minus 2 then we have 2v which means we will do 2 multiply by v which is negative 1 and 3 so this becomes negative 2 and 6 so just write negative 2 and 6 all right now in the next question it says that a suit costs 6500 rupees and 1 rupees equals to 0.013 dollars so calculate the price of the suit in dollars so the best way to do it is you write rupee over here you write dollar over here so 1 rupee is 0.013 dollars the suit is for 6500 dollars is x we will now cross multiply so we will do 6500 multiply by 0.013 so let's do it in our calculator 6500 multiply by 0.013 we get 84.5 so it's an it sued for 84.5 dollars all right guys now this question it's, it says that di the diagram shows one face of a cuboid on one centimeter square grid and then the question says that the cuboid has a volume of 24 centimeter cube complete a net of this cuboid so look the volume for cuboid is length into width into height we already know the volume which is 24 length is how much guys look 1 2 3 4 so the length is 4 multiply by width width is how much 1 2 3 width is 3 and height we will find it so 24 is equals to 12 multiplied by height height is equals to 24 divided by 12 height is equals to 2 guys so now if I look at it I will make some dots let me zoom it in further for you so in order to make height I will make dots 2 centimeter away from the box like this one over here then one over here one over here then one over here one over here and then one over here and one over here and whenever you guys are making the cuboid do not forget that one face is three by two so you guys will make two dots over here as well all right so now you guys will use a scale I don't have a scale so I'll just make lines like this for you guys all right even though it looks bad but I hope you guys understand the point that I'm trying to make make it like this and then do you guys do make sure to use a scale otherwise you guys will get low marks and you guys don't want low marks and hmm looks a bit nice not that bad and look we have a very bad shape but that's how you will do this question now question number 11 it says the median of six numbers is 61 five of the numbers are 24 43 58 71 and 85 work out the sixth number so look what does median mean median means the middle number so first of all you will write 24 43 58 then we have and then you will write x why because the median is 61 which means it's lower than 71 actually so the median is between 58 and x 71 and 85 so the median is a combination of these two numbers so median is actually 61 is equals to 58 plus x upon 2 so now I will actually do 62 multiplied by 61 which is 122 is equals to 58 plus x 58 will go there 
x is equal to 122 minus 58, x is equal to 64. All right, guys. Next question says work out the size of one interior angle of a regular nine-sided polygon. So look, the formula of interior angle is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 divided with n. Okay, so how many sides are there? Nine. So I will do 9 minus 2 multiplied by 180 divided by 9, which means 7 multiplied by 180 divided by 9. So the answer is going to be 140 degrees. Okay, guys. Next question is says on the Venn diagram shade the region A intersection B. So look, this middle region is the intersection. So this is A intersection B. Question 11, it says factorize completely. So if you look at in this question, you have common 2G. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. We already took G as common. And what remains? Minus G only. So the answer is 2G bracket. 4 minus g. Moving on to question 15, it says the diagram shows a circle center 0 with diameter AC. This line AC is the diameter. A, B, C, D lie on the circumference, which means A, B, C, and D. They are all on the circle. All right, find the value of x. So they want the value of x. So look, whenever a line passes through the diameter, this point becomes 90. So, in order to find the value of x, you will do 65 plus 90 plus x is equal to 180. What is 6? And then x is equal to 180 minus 65 minus 90. So, x actually is equal to 25. So, we have to give reason. So, x is equal to 25 because angle in a semicircle semicircle is 90 degrees next question says find the value of y so how will you find the value of y so if you look at the question this is corner and this is center this is also corner this line OE and this is center so it means both these lines are same if both lines are same, both angles are also same. So y is equals to 46. So the reason you guys can give is that triangle ODE is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle is an isosceles. Okay. Next question, it says, without using a calculator, find this. So look, this question means 4 upon 7 divided by 8 upon 1 so 4 upon 7 now you will do multiply 1 upon 8 so this becomes 4 upon 7 4 there is 7 instead of doing this you guys can also do this make your life easy just do this 4 1s are 4 4 2s are 8 so this becomes 1 upon 14 next question it says the school records how many calculators it sells each week for 40 weeks. The results are shown in the table. Work out the mean number of calculators. So to do this, first of all, what you guys will do? You guys will multiply the numbers of calculators with frequency. So this is frequency. You will find fx. So 0 multiplied by 14 is 0. 1 multiplied by 12 is 12. 2 multiplied by 6 is 12, 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, uh, 4 multiplied by 0 is 0, 5 multiplied by 2 is 10, 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. So the formula for mean is actually mean is equal to sigma fx upon sigma f. Alright, so sigma fx is this, sigma f is this. So if I total fx, all these values 0 12 12 15 0 10 6 it gives me 55 and if I total the frequency it already says 40 so I already know this all of this is 40 so this becomes 55 upon 40 which means 1.375 so just write 1.375 over here next question guys question 18 
Now in this question it says the m the mass m kg of a bag is 12 kg correct to the nearest kilogram which means 1 kilogram. So since we need to complete this statement we will do 1 divided by 2 which is 0 0.5. First we will do 12 minus 0 0.5 and then we will do 12 plus 0 0.5. So when we subtract it's 11.5 and when we add it's 12.5. So over here you will write the lower value and over here you will write the upper value. Next question says that Kiana invests 3000 at a rate of 4% per year compound interest. Calculate the value of her investment at end of 6 years. So look, what's the formula for compound interest? A is equals to B bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power time. So A is equals to principal 3000, 1 plus R is 4 upon 100 raised to power 6. So your answer will become 3795.9. Next question it says solve this. So look 25 minus 2U upon 3 is equals to 2. 3 will go up there. 25 minus 2u is equals to 6. 6 will come here. 2u will shift there. 25 minus 6 is equals to 2u. 19 is equals to 2u. For some reason, 2u sounds a little funny. So 19 divided by 2 is equals to u. u is equals to 9.5, guys. All right. I hope you were guys, you guys were able to understand that. So now next question is write a uh, calculate 0 0.3 in standard form. Okay, how do we do that? First, you guys will do 0 0.3 square, which becomes 0 0.09. Now you have to move the decimal places back. So this becomes 9 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 2. So your answer is 9 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 2. Next question, the, prob the probability of, of passing a driving test is 0 0.36. 600 people take the driving test. How many people are going to pass? So look, to do this question, you guys will do 600 multiply by 0 0.36, which is 216. So 216 people will pass the driving test. Question number three, solve this simultaneous equation. So in order to solve this simultaneous equation, multiply the second equation with 2. So the first equation is 3x minus 2y is equals to 19. The second equation becomes 2x plus 2y is equals to 6. We multiplied the second equation by 2 so that we could eliminate y's. This becomes 5x because 3x plus 2x is 5x. 19 plus 6 is 25. x is equals to 25 divided by 5. x is equals to 5 only. Now, let's use this equation. x plus y is equals to 3. y is equals to 3 minus x. y is equals to 3 minus 5. y is equals to minus 2. So, the value of x is 5. The value of y is minus 2. Next question is says that the diagram shows the diagram shows you what a right angle triangle. Okay, show that angle y is 31.9. So look, opposite the angle we have opposite, opposite the 90 degree we have hypotenuse and the remaining thing is called adjacent. So adjacent and opposite come in tan. So tan y is equal to toa. Let me write it for you tan theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent. So I will write opposite is 46, adjacent is 74. Okay. Y is equal to tan inverse 46 upon 74. I will go on to my calculator. I will do tan inverse 46 upon 74. Sorry. It's 31.86, rounded off 31.9, guys. Next question, 
the question says the diagram shows two right angle triangles okay then it says work out the value of x so guys first in order to find x you need the length ac ac is a right angle triangle like this a b c 39 52 and this is hypotenuse okay so you will do ac square is equals to 39 square plus 52 square so once you do that you will under root both the sides so ac is equals to let me do it for you guys over here under root 39 square plus 52 square 65 ac is equals to 65 now since we have ac this is the other triangle look a d c ac is already 65 dc is 25 now we have the hypotenuse which means 65 square is equals to 25 square plus ad square or x square so ad whole square is equals to 65 square minus 25 square and then we will under root both the sides so let's do that under root 65 square minus 25 square so you get 60 so the value is 60 okay guys next 26 the question says a circle has an area of 25 pi work out the circumference so look area of circle is equals to 2 pi r square sorry pi r square my bad pi r square area is already 25 is equals to 25 pi is equals to pi r square pi pi cancelled out r square is equals to 25 we will under root both the sides r is equals to 5 so radius is 5 now we will calculate the circumference which is 2 pi r so 2 multiply by pi multiply by 5 so it's 10 pi all right guys now in the next question it says two of the circles are used as the end of a cylinder with height h the total surface area is 170 pi so look surface area of cylinder is equals to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h so look they have already given you the surface total surface area of cylinder so you will write 170 pi is equals to 2 multiply by pi multiply by 5 square plus 2 multiply by pi multiply by 5 h we need to find h so 170 pi is equals to 2 multiply by pi is 2 pi and 5 square is 25 so this becomes 50 pi plus 2 fives that is 10 10 pi h okay guys now we will actually do 170 pi is equals to take pi as common so this becomes 50 plus 10 h pi pi cancelled 170 is equals to 50 plus 10 h 10 h is equals to 170 minus 50 10 h is equals to 120 h is equals to 120 divided by 10 h is equals to 12 so the height is 12 all right guys so there are no questions left if you guys were able to understand this video please do make sure to support me by liking subscribing and sharing my channel thank you very much take care